What's up guys? So in this video, we're making muffin pizza bites. That's right, if you want some snacks that is easy to share for a pizza party, movie night, or if you're watching a football game, actually football season's over. But anyways, this is gonna be great. Taking a break from the Oreos, we're gonna move into pizza, which is also my favorite, so you might wanna stick around. The way I got this idea it was I went on to Justin Schubel's Instagram. I saw his reel, he made this already, but then I was like, how do I make this protein packed? Then I saw the TikTok from Cook Like I'm Book, and he basically made a pizza, uh, which we're gonna use that dough recipe right now, combine the two, and that's how exactly how I made this recipe. All right, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is a food scale. All right, so grab a bowl. We're gonna be measuring in grams. This was an ingredient. This is gonna be your first ingredient. First item you need was a food scale. First ingredient you need is some flour, regular, all-purpose flour. We're gonna use 100 and 15 grams. The reason why we're not using coconut flour, almond flour, uh, or cauliflower is because I don't think they taste that great. I think this will definitely give you a better pizza taste. Okay, so put that all here. Make sure you have a clean surface. Don't do this on dirty surfaces. So the next item you want is some Greek yogurt. We're gonna put 170 grams. This is non-fat, plain Greek yogurt. And yes, we are gonna mix this into the dough. You're not gonna taste any of the Greek yogurt, so don't worry. Actually, 169, that's good enough. So, now you just take this, make sure your hands are clean, and that's what we're gonna do, is just gonna make mix it all together. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of water if you need it. Okay, I just wet my hands a little bit just to get all of the dry stuff off is flatten it out. Gonna make six pieces, six squares, okay? So grab your muffin things right here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the inside with some nonstick spray. So I got here is some nonstick butter spray. I like this because we're dealing with breads. I think this is the best. Uh, you can use the olive oil one. I think that's the one I have from Trader Joe's, but when I'm uh, dealing with pizza, I like to use this one. Just spray. The inside, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do one, two run right there. Make it even. Six pieces, right? So six slices. So if we did that, you have a rolling thing. Uh, what is that? A dough roller? Probably work best, honestly. It is sticky, so be careful. It just doesn't stick to your table, whatever you are using. All right, so put this off to the side. So the next item you want is some pizza sauce. We're gonna put one serving, which is one fourth of a cup. I got this from Trader Joe's. This is about 50 calories a serving. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just take a little bit at a time. You don't need a lot, because these are just little tiny bites. All right, so our next ingredient is some low fat mozzarella. You can use fat free mozzarella but I find that with a little bit of fat, it melts better. All right, so we're gonna put two ounces or 56 grams. Two, almost. 55, I'm gonna leave it up here. All right. The next ingredient, we went with some turkey pepperonis to lower the fat, and what we're gonna use is half a serving, which is 15 grams. So one, two, three, four, five, Six. Last but not least, some seasoning. We went with garlic, salt, and oregano. This could be done, probably, would probably be best if it was done on the dough, but we skipped that step on accident. Not gonna lie. Um, and we could just toss it in right now. I like garlic, so I'm just gonna throw that on there. And then some salt. The last step is to throw these in the oven for 375 degrees, around eight minutes. I would say five to 10 minutes would be that sweet spot, but eight minutes. Keep an eye on, make sure they're not burnt, but look at them right now, and we'll check in with you after they come out of the oven. So here is the final product. These are super hot, they're burning my hand almost. Uh, I'm gonna put them on a cutting board, take some thumbnail pictures, and then we're gonna try them out. But before I do that, guys, make sure you hit that like, and that subscribe button to grow the channel, to 
push this out to more people so they can enjoy pizza just like you. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate it. Guys, thanks. Look at how they look. They came out absolutely amazing. I'm gonna take some thumbnail photos now, but I just wanted to show you guys before I did that. Look at that right there. Pizza bites, pizza muffin bites? Let's call them pizza muffin bites. All right, first bite, the dough, so soft. And you could taste the pizza sauce, just the right amount, and then the right amount of cheese. Man, these are great. These are so good for when you guys need some like shareable snacks. So after I finish this, I'll tell you guys the calories for all six and each individual one. All right, so for all six, it's 705 calories, but that's for all six. Just one is 118 calories. 118 calories for a pizza muffin? I'll take that any day. One and a half grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein. These are amazing. Like, Trader Joe's for the win for all the ingredients. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, drop a like, hit that subscribe button, if you want another pizza playlist or protein packed pizza playlist, I'll leave that in one of the corners for you guys to check out and give those videos a like as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, links in the description down below, and we'll see you next week for another video.